how many passwords do you use every day and more importantly how secure are those passwords you may be surprised to know that 80% of all hacks start with password security compromise and 81% of company data breaches are due to weak passwords it becomes a issue is that if you only use password is as things that remember it's not secure enough so and also if the password getting more complex and people will tend to use repeat passwords so that's they, they use the password they use in the other hacks so if it has been a hack subsequently you will be hacking in your other account too hackers are the biggest threat to cybersecurity so many big tech companies like apple amazon and google are employing a new countermeasure to try to fend them off and that involves doing away with the traditional password instead they're opting for pass keys which is the hot new password replacement standard so now it comes <coughs> like fido passwordless authentication so you don't need to use your uh, username and password uh, you use your biometrics like uh, your face id or your touch ID. Chen's company, Webcom, has been a pioneer of passwordless authentication in Taiwan. In the traditional two-factor or multi-factor authentication system, you need to type in the username and password, often followed by an OTP or one-time password through a mobile phone text message to complete the login process. But the Taiwanese company has made their multi-factor authentication process possible without keying in a single character. FIDO passwordless authentication works around a strong cryptographic key pair, like uh, using uh, public key and private key and biometrics. The private key is stored in uh, your own device, which has your biometrics. Hence, only the right person and right device can complete a successful authentication. So you are free from remembering complicated password and from the risk of being hacked. They claim that their passwordless multi-factor authentication product is simple to use and can rebuff hacking attempts. A Webcom is already providing their cutting-edge technology to several Taiwanese banks and multinational companies like IKEA and Costco. But now they are looking to take their cybersecurity solutions beyond Taiwan's shores in the direction of the heavyweight markets in Southeast Asia and India. We will establish our partner in NSBC like uh, Thailand, Malaysia, India. We will collaborate our partner uh, to promote our solution in this area. I want Welcome become a multicultural and globalization company. But even though their cybersecurity solutions are tried and tested by several financial institutions and multinational corporations, experts say there are still risk factors. All those personal identifiable information, particularly on the um, like biometric data, is highly sensitive. There are some recent uh, cases, like there are some recent solutions for this kind of management, um, identity management, access management solutions being hacked. There is no silver bullet in the cybersecurity. But if you are still possessive about your passwords, you may just have to bite the bullet. The Verizon 2020 data breach investigation report found that 80% of data breaches involve lost, stolen, or weak passwords, making the case for passwords to be more of a relic of the past, with passwordless authentication opening the gateway to a secure digital future. With Suing Lin, Shubhampal for Connected. <laughs>